Today we're gonna to talk about putting an RJ45 end on a cable. So basically you wanna strip it back, give yourself a little bit to work with. I've got this nice little radial stripper by Klein that I really like. You don't have to get rid of this little threaded piece, but I always do. Then you're going to separate your pairs and you want to straighten them because they're twisted. So obviously you've got to deal with the fact that they're twisting so they're not even. So when you untwist them, you want to kind of run your thumb down them like this to straighten them, smooth them out. Every pair, we kind of run it out with our thumbs. All right, once we've got them all separated, then of course we're going to get our colors. So we're going to start with our orange. And you can always Google how, what the color code is, but... Effectively, orange, white, orange. And you want to try to twist them to where they lay as smoothly as possible. So it's green, white. And you go to your blues, and the blues are flipped, so it's blue, blue, white, then green, then back to the brown, white, and brown. So you got them all laid out right. I'm always keeping a good hold on it on this end, so I keep them in order. But then I start gripping them here, and I start working. This one is more loose, but I start working them back and forth like this, kind of pulling on them. And you see how they're starting to get really close together? So by doing that, you get them really close together so that when you do your cut, then they're going to stay together. That's really the, the biggest trick, is this whole back and forth motion. Oh, okay. So okay. Like if one's twisted over the other, when you crimp it down, it's obviously not going to... Yep, exactly. Um, so the first step, obviously, is make sure they're nice and smooth by running your thumb down all of them, smoothing them out, and then doing this back and forth action to really make sure that they're just absolutely snug against each other. And of course, you're going to double check that your colors haven't switched. But now that we're ready to crimp, you want, as, you want this jacket to go up into the end you don't want to leave a bunch of this hanging out of the end. Would you rather have an inch over on the sleeve, or would you rather have an inch of like, or like a half inch of, of the, the wool? You want as little uh, as little of this as possible. You want to get down close to the sleeve. So generally, what I'll do is I'll take my thumb and I'll put it like right there. Okay. And I'm crimping down with my thumbnail. Yeah. To hold them in place, and then I'm going to cut it off with a pair of scissors so I get a nice tight cut. And we're just going to cut these off straight. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you don't see need there? Very much. No, you see, I mean, it's just barely sticking out from my thumb. You want this super close. So you're going to keep your thumbnail on it for pressure. Always do clip side down to match your color codes. You're going to lay them on the bottom lip of this end, and you're going to keep pressure, downward pressure on it to kind of keep it pushed up against the edge as you release it and start sliding it in. And you just slowly let it flow up there. And then, of course, once you get to where the individual conductor spots are, it should start grabbing them, and you may have to kind of go left and right just a little bit and you tuck that jacket up in there because that, in theory, is a good clean. So you definitely would rather have a little bit of jacket inside yes, the head. Yes, you should. A little, have a little bit of yeah, you don't, you don't want any of the conductors showing outside the end. All right, so we got our clip side down on the connector. We have our clip side down here. Slide that into our crimper. Keep pressure on it. You know, you make sure you don't pull it out until you do the crimp. Do a good solid couple of squeezes. Check it, you should be good now. Obviously, we're going to put the other end on it, and we're going to make sure that it is a good, clean connection. If you got value out of this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you're informed every time I upload something new. Check out my website at fieldtechacademy.com. I have a lot of downloads available for those of you who are on Field Nation and Work Market to help you flesh out your profile and make them stronger. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you need a little bit of help to kind of get to the next level in your independent field tech journey, then I'm here to help. I also have a client list on my website that is available. Most everybody knows about Field Nation and Work Market, but there are a lot of clients out there with whom you can go direct. They will call you and email you before anybody else to give you an opportunity to do service calls. As always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.